about the anatomy and physiology of the reproductive system. So reproductive systems obviously consist of two different systems. You have the male and you have the female. So the female reproductive system consists of ovaries. So you have two ovaries and in those ovaries you have a bunch of eggs which are also called ova. So on that there's some tubes called the fallopian tubes and that's where when the egg is dropped to go down to the ovary it travels through the fallopian tubes and heads down to the uterus and the uterus is also known as the womb. This is where an embryo develops to be born. When the sperm comes into the uterus and fertilizes the egg it then attaches to the endometrium of the uterus. So it attaches to the wall and that's where the, or the baby can grow. The actual vagina itself is just a passageway essentially for the baby to come out into the world. So you have your uterus and at the bottom of the uterus is the cervix. It's like just like this little hole. It's like little teeny tiny hole. But after the baby starts growing and different chemicals throughout your body, that cervix begins to expand. It opens up to about 10 centimeters, which is pretty big. And then that baby can just come right out into the world. The male reproductive system, on the other hand, consists of two testicles or testes. So sperm production is created here in, in the semi-feral tubules. The epididymis is like the storage area for the sperm. Then there's something called seminal vesicles, and this is something that secretes mucus and fructose and the hormone prostaglandin that mixes in with the sperm. And then there's the prostate gland, which is a large gland that secretes semen. All right, so let's talk about sexual reproduction. So sperm made in the testes and it's controlled by the hormone testosterone. Eggs are produced in the ovaries and once it's mature, it can enter into the fallopian tube. Fertilization occurs when one sperm meets one egg. So the egg and the sperm meet and then it moves into the uterus where it will then try to attach to the endometrium where then it can grow into a baby. If it fails to be fertilized, the egg will eventually dissolve and then a woman will menstruate. So this system is also connected to the endocrine system because the endocrine system during this entire process is releasing hormones that regulate most reproductive systems in our body. This is through hormones like estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. If you want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.